And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 65 Fisher quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here at the Fisherman's Guild at 8.15 in Lower Lins of Leminsa. So let's talk to Wawalago. So the quest is called Search for the Swarming Grounds. The smitten smile on Wawalago's face suggests he's received a report from Reyna. So, Mifri, I have auspicious news, auspicious indeed, for the ravishing, or so I reckon, Rayner has ascertained the site of the shooting star's spawning beds. It is just as she thought. After they hatch, the red rovers ride the raging currents of the Ruby Sea that rush from east to west. So it is that they eventually emerge on the edge of Lanosia. Of course, the moment I mentioned this moat of information to Gove, he marched right to the coast, saying that he had a mission to make for the Ruby Sea. While I appreciate his adore, I do hope he doesn't intend to swim all the way there. After all, it takes schools of shooting stars twice his size, quite some time to span that distance, and they have a current to carry them along. Meanwhile, Rayna herself did the sensible thing of setting out on a sailing vessel. Ah, how I yearn to travel exotic locales yonder like you young ones, but any sudden sabbaticals would be strikingly suspicious, especially to ever skeptical Susupu. Any road, Reyna sails the seas even as we speak. You'll want to seek her out in the port of Kugane. Oh, and do relay to her my most recognizable of regards, a rousing wink of the right eye should suffice. Oh ho! Right, so let's go to... Kugane. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Let's teleport. Cool. So let's do this. Where is she? There she is. So there you are. Even for a veteran fisher moonman who prides herself on her patience, that felt like an eternity. What took you so long? Then again, I suppose we'll be waiting even longer for Gove. I heard that he's taken upon himself to swim all the way here, although I can't say I'm all that surprised. Anyhow, to business. I was able to determine what the locales call the fish that best matches the description of the Sahagin shooting stars. The most likely candidate is known as the uh, Harutsugu. I still don't know if I am pronouncing it right. Unfortunately, all of the fishermen I spoke to insist that they haven't seen them near the shores of late. But don't worry, as I have a plan. If we've exhausted our op options on the surface, why not turn to others more in tune with developments in the depths? I speak, of course, of the Kojin, a tribe of aquatic beastmen not unlike our friend Gove though hopefully more agreeable. If anyone can enlighten us about life under the Ruby Sea, I dare say it's them. What say we venture out to the port of Tamamitsu and see what they can tell us? Cool. So let's go to the Ruby Sea. Let's do it. So I've barely, like, done story. I've basically just about got to Yantia at this point. So, yeah. But... I've done enough so for us to be able to do this particular quest. So, where do we go? Let's talk to Uki Mono. So, haha, a talking fish, and a large one at that. What will uh, they think of next? The talking fish is a friend of yours, perchance. What brings him here, and you for that matter? You come in search of fish with shimmering scarlet scales that spawn in these waters and travel to the western seas. Yes, such fish were once plentiful here, but I fear we have not seen them of late. Psh, they have disappeared from the Ruby Sea as well. Then we come all this way for nothing. Hmm, you are a picky one. Surely you are aware that there are other fish in the sea, and far tastier ones at that. I would be happy to show you how to catch some of the most delightful delicacies. The shooting stars are not for eating, they are for watching, or have you never taken time to admire the seas and all their beauty? Uh, you are an interesting one indeed. I have never thought to appreciate the beauty of my meals, but perhaps there is something to what you say. I will do what I can to find these shooting stars of yours, but know that fish you seek grow fewer and fewer in number by the day. 
The massive schools once seen swimming in droves in open waters are no more. If any remain, you will like to find them in the waters near Shoal Rock. Truly, the shooting stars still remain? So, you had... Sorry, you heard the total, man, my friends. We must swim to this Shoal Rock without delay. I mean, no need to stab me with your fork. So eager as ever, isn't he? While I admire his enthusiasm, I would form a more solid plan of action before we go rushing off. Care to join me at the Isle of Beko, Mifri? E sure, why not? Let's do it. So, better to just uh, go there on foot. So we need to go to there, just outside. So let's go, go. And, like I said, and I've said in many other episodes, I do enjoy fishing. It's really fun. And I am happy that I'm also bringing it towards a close now already. The mistake I made during Heavensward is that I power leveled everything to 60. But I didn't do any of the class quests along the way. So suddenly, at level 60, I had so many quests to do. Which was also underwhelming because I didn't get EXP for doing them. So, whereas now, um, it seems really... A lot more fun because the amount of VXP I'm getting for these quests is very, very high. Just be really careful when you're on a gathering class going through areas with monsters because you've only got 3,400 health. So th these monsters in the right condition can actually one shot you. So just be careful. That's why they gave uh, gatherer classes stealth to deal with that sort of stuff. As a gatherer or fisher or miner, whatever, you're not supposed to get this. Anyway, let's talk to Rayna. So, as you might have expected, Gove has already plunged himself into the depths below. It might be a while before he comes back up, so Hagen seemed to forget the passage of time down there. Ah, but where was I? Ah yes, there is one small favour I would ask you before we go off in search of the Hurusugi. Remember, our mission is not only to find out whether they still exist, but also learn the cause of their dwindling numbers, and to determine whether the damage is reversible. As such, I'd like you to catch the three, three of the immature shooting stars, the Hurusugi Sprags, if you will. They inhabit these waters, and do be careful when you unhook them. They need to be in pristine condition for observation. Will you do that for me? In the meantime, I'll hunt down a proper vessel to give our catches enough room to swim around. I'd rather not face Gove's wrath if they go belly up before he returns. Cool. So... Um, guys, I actually caught these fish already in a, uh, before, but then the uh, recording became corrupted. So I'm recording this again, but this is why I've already got the fish. But in order to catch the fish, you need to go to Shoal Rock to here. To this place, not here. So it might be tempting, and it's possible that this is what this fisher is doing right now. That he's doing the quest, but he's actually doing it in the wrong place. You have to go to Shoal Rock. So anyway, let's turn in the free high-quality fish to Reina. In discussing the Hurusugi with local fishermen, I was able to learn that they are a type of herring, but I suppose that they're most recognizable by their striking color. Were you able to find them? Yep. And over. And I got a good, like, nearly 2 million EXP for catching this many fish. It's incredible why even at this side, they truly are breathtaking to behold, are they not? Confining them to a bucket feels like a crime. At any rate, let us wait for our Finn friend to return. Cool. Let's cut scene. Fair enough. So, they are far smaller than the ones I remember, but there can be no doubt about it. These are indeed the shooting stars. It eases my heart to know they still swim among us. Mifri Rayner, words cannot suffice to express my gratitude. I search for so long in waters familiar and foreign, all to no avail. For Mifri here to find them in such a short span of time, it is clear her knowledge of and passion for the sea are without compare. Always happy to be of service, and now Gove. Um, I would take them to a proper expert to have them classified and examined. Worry not, I'll take good care of them. You have my word. So you have more than proving yourself. I will leave it in your capable hands. In the meantime, I'll return to 
the talking turtle and share the knowledge of what we have found. Perhaps he can enlighten us further. Bye. So I'll exercise the utmost of care in delivering the Harasuge to Anna Salmi in Ishgard. We must ascertain their precise uh, physiology and whether or not they suffer from the, some sort of illness. In the meantime, I would appreciate it if you could tell Guildmaster Wawalago. We'll contact him as soon as the observations turn up fruit. This isn't... Sorry, isn't this exciting, Mifri? I can scarcely wait to see where this leads us next. Yeehaw. Now I'm still a cowboy. Right, so let's go to Fisherman's Bottom. And let's turn in the quest. Let's do it. Do. Nice. So let's do A for right, A for net. Fisherman's Guild. Okie dokie. Let's talk to Wawa Lago. So, fantastic friend, you found the ever-elusive fish. Now begins the tall task of finding a way to ward off their waning numbers and see them flower and flourish once more. Alas, so as we say, there is little I can do to lighten the load, not with Sisipu watching me so warily at least. Uh, why woeful Wawalago can't even partake in a proper pint without her protest? Much less feel a way to whisper our plans on this little link pearl. I suppose there's naught to do but bide my time and my mind, sorry, I mind my own business until Reyna regales us with her latest report. Cool. So let's complete. Let's take the leggings. Complete. So in testing new waters as a fisher, you have learned double hook. Cool. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.